Hello everyone, welcome back to Atrex Empires with me, Mr. Fox. And today, we're back to nature. See how long that lasted? Pretty long, actually. Um, videos can be deceiving. <laughs> uh, so, we're over here working on the ugliest nature piece at the moment. It doesn't look that ugly. Right, you're absolutely right, it doesn't look that ugly. I might actually remove the track down there just to remove um, me trying to avoid it. <laughs> so this is the volcano, right? And it looks horrendous on the map. It's very big, very flat, but then it, it appears weirdly on the map. So... If there's some sort of way that I can show you, which I think there is, you're looking at an image right now of the map. It's probably old. The desert probably isn't there. The mesa probably isn't there. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Give me a second. Let me just show you. <laughs> okay. So this is the map. This is what the map looks like. So that's the volcano. You just saw it. It looked like it had detail. looked nice. But as you can see, it should look a little bit less like that, a little bit more like that. And if you haven't seen that one... Because it basically looks like... I don't know, a pancake trying to cover something? But there's like a tower in the middle? It's basically what it looks like. It needs to look less like what it does now, and it needs to look more like this. Wow, this is a nice mountain. I'm sorry, I just forgot that this was a nice mountain. I thought it was okay. I This is actually pretty nice. It's pretty it looks like it's pretty thin, and it is. It is a steep mountain. But you'll see why it's steep. Actually, there's plenty of room. We could have gone back further, but it's probably wiser that we just went steep at the back. Um wow, this is a big mountain. And it can go taller now. It used to reach world light height, as you can see. <laughs> this used to be right on the tip, apparently. Or is this tree just weird? Oh, this tree is just weird. Actually, I think 118 is stable now. Should I update? What does it bring? World height, depth. World, world edit work with it. You know, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay on 117 for like another week. I, I literally, I'm in no position to need it right now. So yeah, it needs to look a little bit better, and a little bit more like this, but obviously not like this because this is very tall and very awesome looking. But as you can see, I think the main problem with the other mountain is that it's kind of flatter you know this one goes up <laughs> jesus christ it's <laughs> the more i look at it it's larger and larger <laughs> i thought this is a tiny mountain when i was imagining it earlier i was like oh, i wish my mountain looked as awesome as these 118 but apparently they do look at it this is mega i don't even think minecraft will make them this big <laughs> well they probably would it's just they would probably you know, encroach with the land a lot more, but this is the most you're getting. Because if I went any further, then I'd be out here in horse ride. In a horse ride's area. And that sand? Oh, I wonder what it means. Oh no. Anyway, let's uh, put back OBS so I can see it. Let's get back to work, shall we? There is no quick way to get over there, is there? Technically. I think we can still take the subline. I think. Yeah, it should still be possible. Oh god, I hate the day where I'm gonna have to fix this. Not because it's broken, it's just most of the... 
uh, destinations have been taken offline. Uh, this side? Good. Oh, and most some of the stations are broken. The reason I haven't fixed them is because... I don't really know. I don't know. And I do also have to fix the garbage that you get. So if I'm right, this should be a desert or something? Right in front of me? Oh no, this is still the medieval area. What's this? TP00. See, there was a helpful command I needed in this game. But I covered it. So, we need to essentially... Get rid of this track for a while. We will probably encroach to the outside here. I'm not a, I'm not really planning to make this small. If it's a volcano, then it has to be sort of announced. Is that air? So, don't know how I'm going to do it. All I do know is I'm using pink concrete powder. Gone are the days where I use sand. Yeah. Um, although, I think golden is supposed to be the smoothing. But, sure. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, we need to turn it into flatness gelatinous. Because, as you can see, it's flat. Yeah, it goes up gradually, but it's very flat. So, we need to somehow make it not flat and we also need this opening and by the way in case you're wondering what's going on in the volcano yep there's a bit of storyline going on in here wow this place looks cool it could use some um glow lichen some water some lava maybe like hanging lava my oh man, this place looks cool. This looks like the Caves and Cliffs update before the Caves and Cliffs update. Just needs a little bit more work, though, in some areas. Like, there needs to be, like, another stalactite right there. Stalic magic. They're all stalactites to me. And yes, I actually deformed the ceiling. So, very handy tool. So, I think what I'll do is... How the fuck do I do this? Backup. I'm going to do a backup first. Right, because I'm not exactly doing a small thing that can be just undone. This is a very big thing. But if I mess it up, it's there forever. Well, not there forever. I mean, I just have to remove the pink concrete powder. Then reform it. And so, yeah. Um, I think how I'll do it is... This... I'm having this weird sudden feeling to make the volcano more like this. Like with spiky bits. Uh, I think it's... I forgot, I don't care. Mask, pink... Good, good, butter. I might make this a spike. Uh, definitely this one. Not everything has to make perfect sense, my friend. And then, because I'm painting it blue, it's not a marker for me, so I'll remember what it is. It's so that I can mask the smoothening tool, and then I can smoothen the rest of it. That will fall just a little bit, but not as much as if I didn't, you know, cover it in blue. Yeah, I think that's going to be really cool. Might even have a stream of lava. I don't know what's going to go on with this volcano. I just know it's going to look cooler than what it currently is. Which, again, looks like a flat pancake. Like a weird pancake. Lumpy pancake. Weird pancake. Pancake. Pan oh, my God. This is a lot of pink. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's been a while. Not that long, actually. 
It's been about maybe two hours. You know, surprisingly, this can be done pretty quick. Feels slowish, but once you're watching something, then you're fine with it. The only problem with this entire mountain is this middle part. Um, so I'm gonna shrink, I'm gonna shrink, I'm gonna smoothen all of this down. Do I have this set on smooth? No, I do not. Okay. So brush, smooth, five. Mask, pink, concrete, powder. I mean, that's just so it's ready. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over it a little bit with some more pink concrete up there. Looks crazy. A lot less flat. That's for sure. I liked the roughness, but man, does the smoothness get it done. This is gonna be a volcano. This right here, this is gonna be a volcano. Not whatever the frick I had. Uh, obviously, then when it gets deformed, it'll all match up. So please remember those words. When it's deformed, this will all blend together way better. It's not going to blend to flat land. <laughs> that is literally impossible. Because of Minecraft, blending is important. I should also mention for backstory that this used to be a volcano. And it... What's that word? It doesn't run anymore, essentially. It's it's bust. It's, it, it isn't going to erupt. It basically ran out of lava... Then a hole at the top opened up, so basically, no longer a mountain. Mountain? Volcano. So, technically this will be alright, I just have to make sure that it all blends together correctly. Okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to World Support. Which, by the way, you haven't seen that building in a while. Ah, so here it is. The thingy. So, if you're watching this episode, that means that we've been changing this volcano. And, you know, it's now an extinct volcano, and it should hopefully, ideally, look much cleaner. Then I have to get to all of this. I have to make this onto here and there. And yes, I extended the mesa size just a little bit. And yes, I'll be making sure to round it off because. We can't have a straight line, because that just looks wrong. But I need to deform all the land so I know exactly what I'm doing. See, we need something like that right there. That's sort of, you know, dissolve. Yeah, sure, why not? So, here we are. We're going to do it. Do we want to do it from the front first or the back? You're absolutely right. It doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, though. Oh, we're going to need to put that track back. <laughs> well. Shoot. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Take it in, guys. Okay, so here's how it looks right now. Looks still out of place. Very patchy. I do, I do see that it's very patchy. It looks better in person. Than it does on the map. But we need to get it to somehow resemble this. Well, not resemble. But to be like this. I think that one might work better because it goes up more. Like you can see, this one is definitely more textured. And definitely better. But it's still... Still missing something. You'll be happy to know I figured it out. I figured out why this mountain still looks very awkward. And that's because it's just a mountain. That's all it is. There's nothing around it. There's nothing here. If it was deformed around, it might look more situated. But because it's literally big, grey, and on its own, then it's gonna look very out of place you know similar to how these kind of look at the moment but they, they still look in place because we're used to seeing them but now there are the three things that need to be situated into the map 
into the world, I should say. And so for the only way to do that is to get our favorite one. Our favorite tool. Does this do anything? No. Okay. Our favorite tool. We all know what it is. We all know what it is. We all know what it is. So you thought we were done, didn't you? You thought this was the end of this episode. Well, I'll tell you something. It is, technically. But, what is next to do is to, basically, I'm just going to have to go back to the map. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult for me to explain. Okay, so right here, by the way, the reason it looks so awkward is because there's nothing else going on. I think I actually explained that already. Whoops. So, what I need to do is I need to go, I think, to that peak, which is where I was, and I need to bring it down and make it nice and wide, nice and big, nice and whatever. Okay. Come it almost all the way to the ocean, but leaving, like, a nice big area, just empty, just in case we want to run a track up there for some odd reason. And then I need to run uh, another one, another mountain ex... Um, extension down to here so we can basically cup in uh, crystal skies so we'll have all this general land for crystal skies but up here will be the buildings that makes it called be called crystal skies so i'll be working on that for the next year and a half don't know where we're going to go to next but basically what i'm going to do after that is i'm going to deform the land around it and probably just get it done. It'll take a while, but I've actually already started just a little bit. So, once I knuckle down and get it done, then it'll be done. I won't have to do it again for another while. Then I might, might create the Riverside Valley Island. Or just work on something else. But once all that naturey stuff is done, and the biomes are fixed into the island a lot more, um, and we can work on putting in a ravine somewhere. Some more of those dirt patches. Some big, some small, you see it like that, right there. Um, and all that kind of stuff. And putting some trees down, obviously. So yeah, guys, please let me do this, and I'll be right back. Also, I'm not quite sure about the black on the map. But the black on the volcano, the mountain, looks really, really good. So I'm not going to change it from black. Ah, uh, isn't this a wonderful sight to just take a screenshot? Oh, that was difficult for me. So, guys, this is the lake. Oh, my God, that's so nice. This is a lake that's located inside the crystal mountains that's what it's going to be called now there's going to be the crystal skies which is going to be actually i think probably located somewhere on this so you might even see like towers there one day or not towers at least buildings there one day right and yes this line will be deformed and all of this will look so much better you do not understand I, I don't even like bone mealing. I told myself I'm not going to bone meal this. I'm not going to bone meal this. But then I looked at it and I was like, this needs bone meal. <laughs> it does. It does. It really, really does. And can I just say, this is beautiful. You know, got this little water tower. Water tower? <laughs> Waterfall. Waterfall just coming down into this lake. Which, by the way, does look like it ends very oddly. But it is also working in this area. So, what will be happening, eventually, at some point in our lives, is that this will spew into a river. I actually put this here. I was going to cover over it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a lake here. Because I want opportunities for a new river system. You know, I don't want it to just all originate from the ocean. It can go to the ocean, even link up with another river. But I just wanted another origin point besides the ocean. So, this is really, really nice. Really, 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 really nice. 
I'm gonna take a screenshot from here. Oh, I'm loving this. I really, really am. I'm loving it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Atrex with me, Mr. Fox. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> See? Told you. Now, so, what's going on is I'm about to bring this down to there. And the reason I want to do that is because I want it to be more mountainous, like this, than cliffy. And I talked to Glitch about this, and it was complicated. I think we understood each other, but more than likely, we did not. And we kind of got to a point where we just agreed with each other, and just moved on. Um, so, well, yeah, that's really all I'm going to be doing today, actually. And then obviously, you know, smoothing it, and I haven't done too much deforming to it. But, Glitch was annoying, as he always <coughs> <coughs> is. And so, he was like, but why would someone dig so deep to build a road? Right, because basically this was like four blocks lower than the regular deforming. And I was like, oh, no, no, it's grand, it's grand, it's grand. And then I was looking at it and passing by it, because I had to work around it. But then I was like, that's true. Why would they dig so deep to put in a road? And it looks fine everywhere else, because, you know, it kind of makes sense, because they have to move the land for the buildings. But, ugh, it's still a little bit tricky. I try not to think about it. Anyway, I'm going to make this brush. 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 Uh, pink concrete powder? I always think about changing it. Um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm cutting back here, because I was just gonna do it like this. But then I realized, again, that I need a body to work on. Which essentially, if I come over here, I mean... If I bring down stone, exactly where I want it, like that, for the entire mountain, I, it won't fall, which will mean that I'll get the exact slope, well not the exact slope, pretty much the slope that I want, and then obviously it won't look very good, so I'll come back over and put pink concrete powder over it, just to get the sort of body that I need. Well, 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 we're back in it. Now, what's going on here, as you can see, is a few changes. The volcano <laughs> has uh, spread its wings because all I can see it being now is a bat. That's all it can be. That's all it can ever be. So I have to somehow merge that with the rest of the mountain because right now it looks like that's the you know centerpiece and that's just two extra pieces they don't look like just the one they need to look like the one so what i think i'll sadly have to do because i really liked the grass in the middle and then the stone to the sides what i think i'll sadly have to do is make this all grass and I know for certainty that I'm not going to bone meal it, even though I probably am, because this being bone mealed, and then this not being bone mealed, will frustrate me. Another thing I want to do... What is that line? Oh, I think that was the end of the island. Yeah, the island was really small once. Um, I need to curve the mesa and the desert, because right now they're just squares for tangles okay so here's what's going down i did something to the volcano so it looks a little bit less uh, you know awkward that's the one so now i just have to i uh, round out or round up the mesa and the desert and then of course we got the island as a problem which, I'll get into that in a moment, but basically, I want to make this around the entire place. It's going to be very difficult, because the majority of it is cliffs. Especially right here at this point. That's all cliff. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to the chair that is breaking, and it did slightly go from underneath me about 15 minutes ago, so that's always fun. Um, so, I'm really, really happy to show you what's going on with the map. I'll actually get a sword that I'm certain I haven't used. Okay, so... Obviously, the volcano is being edited. It looks much better than what it did earlier, because I made the middle bit just completely grass. Because the, the grey in the middle of all of this was looking a little bit too confused, so I had to fix it. Then obviously, the mesa and the desert are now more fitted into the map. I decided that between these hot biomes and maybe even going around it slightly uh, I've decided to do a little bit of this what tool would I use for that it's fine I'll find it so I plan to do a little bit of that going around the biomes just because then I think it might be a nice transition going from that to that maybe like some of the grass or dirt got burned is it would make sense, I think. I really like how rounded they are now. They're not just, you know, a square and a rectangle. It's really, really nice. You can see the divots in and out. Divots in and out. And, you know, roundy bits and whatever. It was really simple to do. My next task, I think I'm just going to make this all one nature episode, apparently. I'll have to edit it the best that I can. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I want more of this. So I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I, I kinda wanna just wrap up nature today, I think. Cause then I have to get to the cities and I have to raise them up and fix the nature. Cause it's all wonky and I think another few days and it will be done. I can move on to other stuff. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this at all. But basically, what we have to do is put the city, the entirety of it, into the sky. Now you may be wondering, oh no. Oh, I don't think it, oh, I think I see what happened. And the reason we want to do this is, I mentioned, did I mention the land thing? If I did... I'll just cut it, but if I didn't, then basically, we want to make it look more normal. We want the structures to be placed on the land, not below the land, because below the land is a little bit weird, unless it's, you know, a mountain. <laughs> basically, that's the, the fast way of explaining it. And the reason that was brought to my attention was because Glitch is very annoying, and he wants the best for the county, and so do I, but I would not have thought of this, so... Or politely raising everything in the city at a certain point, it'll be just floating. When I have people joining, they'll see the city is floating, and then I'll just have to be like, well... So we're raising the land. And, you know, it all has to be perfect. Because if it's not perfect, and it looks broken, and it looks wonky, then nobody's going to like it. I'm not going to like it. I'll tell myself that I like it, because it's the easiest way to do it. And I shouldn't have moved. I'm raising it all before I just, you know, copy and paste in the deformed land that I want. Just so then I can do it pretty much as long as I want. You know, I don't want it to be like, oh no, there's a building right there. I have to be careful, because if there's something in my way, then I'm fine. And obviously I did make a backup, and obviously I'll have to go through and fill up these craters before I, you know, do anything. And just general land, I'm going to just leave, because I'm not... Well, actually, I should be worried about this well, because this well is, like, part of the build. So let me actually come down here. This well, this fountain, it's not a well. Well, 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 and all that. I don't want to copy the middle, because that will remove the church. Now, I'm not 
worried about the spruce trees I can replant. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Atrix Empires. With me, Mr. Fox. Now, believe it or not, but we're actually in the sky. Can you believe it? I don't think you can. Until you look over there and you see something's a little bit off. So, we're in the sky for a very good reason. It's not just because I'm confused. I know I've explained it before. I, I know I have in the previous clip. But, what I didn't explain is that this is actually going to be the end of the video. Because it's going to be very long, very tedious, and very, very long. So I don't want to wait like another week or so to get a video out for you. I'm going to get a video out pretty much right now. And I will just end this one by saying I'm going to do all, all, all the current amount of deforming that I need to do. So lifting up all these buildings, which looks ridiculous. I had a thought yesterday, maybe I should leave them high up. <laughs> like, what if I made that like a lower road and then this was like... No, I can't do that. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can technically. Um, I'll see what Glitch thinks about that, because he'll see this video pretty much when he wakes up in about four hours. Or comes online like fully in four hours. Um, so quite happy with how things are going right now. I just need to, you know, get all this done. That doesn't mean everything. That even means this highway will be going up, which isn't actually as tricky as you would think. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed putting it together. It was really fun. It. It took a lot of weeks to get this done, so hopefully you will leave a like and a comment. Please do comment if you're watching this far, please. Because that will be funny to see. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the flip side. I think I'll just, um... Yeah, I think that's an interesting picture right there. Or of that. Or maybe something like this. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.